Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World. Me, John Jordan. So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at what's going on with um, the Tower token. So the Tower token is currently uh, supporting um, the game Crazy Defense Heroes. So that's an Animoca uh, brand's game. So originally that was a uh, Web2 tower defense game, nothing to do with blockchain. And over the last year or so, they've been adding more blockchain elements in there. So Tower is the um, ERC20 token running on the Polygon blockchain. And basically, uh, if you play Crazy Defense Heroes, the, the uh, app, you can win some of these uh, tokens, um, which are blockchain tokens. Um, you can just go and buy some if you want <laughs> off, off uh, you know, the usual AMMs on Polygon. Um, and they've also been doing uh, NFT drops. So they've been, been um, chess sales um, and those NFTs are, um, you can have them in a wallet and then you link your wallet to your game account, which is how um, basically these sort of web two games that are moving to web three are sort of dealing with having the blockchain stuff outside their app because Apple and Google don't let them do that within the app. So you have to basically go, go to a web browser, connect your, um, connect your wallet and then um, manually sort of connect your game account and, and the two are put together. So um, what's happened now is the, uh, there hasn't been a lot of uh, sort of use for the tower token, to be honest, but now that now that the tower, um, the tower token, you can spend it in the web store. So basically, these tokens people have been accumulating by playing the game, they can now go in um, and buy things in um, on the web browser, and then uh, basically those things will then be um, you know auto magically um, <laughs> seen in their game uh, account. So uh, we can have a look and see what that looks like. Uh, the Defense Heroes uh, web store coming in. So basically, if you go to crazydefenseheroes.com slash store or basically crazy defense heroes you can log you need to log in with your um with your polygon account so we can actually see here in my inventory i don't have any chests or cards but i do have um, a couple of nfts so i've just bought those off um, open i mean these are you know very uh, cheap <laughs> sort of low level uh, nfts um so that's uh, one thing you know you could have done up to this point you can you earn tower by going and, and doing things in the game and you can sort of earn daily rewards. You do have to go through KYC on your account. So that's a bit of a um, friction point. I've actually not done that myself, uh, but we're looking at the uh, Tower web store here. So, um, so we can see here, there's a whole bunch of sort of stuff. There is this Atari offer. So this is costing me a thousand um, Tower tokens. As it happens, I've actually got um, 11,000 tower tokens that I bought. Tower tokens are super cheap. I can't even remember what the price is, um, but yeah, it's very small. I should go and have a look and see what the price is, shouldn't I? Let's, let's just quickly... So I just checked, 1,000 tower tokens is $3. So you can sort of get the idea. So $3, $9, um, $18, or yeah, whatever. Do, do, do the math. So you can um, you can go and buy these um, crates. We can see here, this cheapest one is you get a premium Atari chess guarantees an exclusive two-star Atari card with a chance of an exclusive four-star um, card. And you get... 40,000 gold in the game. Whereas this one here, um, which is uh, for $30, something like that, um, you get one, you get legendary chest guaranteeing an exclusive um, card and 5 million gold. Um, so, yeah, you can do these sort of, these are timed offers, looks like here. So, we've got probably about two weeks, um, it's a countdown from. from. Uh, we have starter packs. Um, so, if we get the cheapest starter pack for you know one and a half dollars, is that right? Yeah, um, we get a guaranteed three star tower, some gold, some energy, a whole bunch of, of stuff that's useful for um, sort of uh, leveling up things in the game. Uh, here we get a guaranteed four star battle card. Um, yeah, so you can sort of see, you know, basically what this is doing in a sense is just providing a crypto way of buying things um, in the game. You know, exclusive things you wouldn't get in the game in the sense that the, the Atari, I think the Atari cards are only available this way, so they're not available just if you're playing the web game, but effectively they're not really doing anything that much different. Um, having given people loads of tower tokens, then sort of Animoca is now basically going, well, you know, if you uh, if you have those tower tokens and you didn't think you could do anything with them apart from sell it off, um, which is obviously drives, drives the price down, here's some stuff you can actually, we gave you this money for free, um, you can actually spend it now in the game and actually sort of get extra stuff in the game. So here we have daily gems, so you can get some daily, uh, so every day here for a month, you get 400, 400 gems, and then get 70 gems free every day you log in, you have to log in to get them. 
um, and then there's just, a, there's just a pure a pure gem here. Uh, okay, so you just buy gems. Gems, as ever, are the hard currency in the game. So normally you buy these with with your fiat currency. And now if you've got loads of um, loads of the uh, tower stuff, you can do that. Let's see, we go and buy something. Yeah, why not? So um, let's go to timed offer. Let's go and buy an Atari an Atari chest and see how it goes. Um, obviously, this is a this this sort of bit of it is crypto, so I'm going to have to. Um, sign my my wallet through here so now i'm waiting for the polygon um blockchain to process that transaction um okay so when that transaction goes through um basically uh i'm hoping i'm gonna presume i'll see something in my inventory on here oh there we go that's gone through so let's see um well definitely my 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 amount of tower has gone through my amount of number of tower tokens has gone down <laughs> Uh, it doesn't seem to have a card there. Anyway, so I'll have to go back and check. Um, oh, it might be on the chest? Mm, no. So I'll have to go through and, and check. Oh, uh, yeah, let's see if that has gone through then. Um, so basically, if I go now back and look in my um, on my iPad, I can basically need to check that I've got my, my 40,000 gold and my premium chest so it's sort of interesting that you don't get the chest in your inventory here i mean i guess and i guess that's always a problem i think in general with with sort of running web web 3 stuff in web 2 games there is that sort of in, interconnection issue and stuff's happening on the blockchain um and stuff's happening in the game and the two sort of because they're not because you're not running the blockchain stuff inherently within the game um there's this sort of uh sort of manual process or it's probably not manual but there's this sort of web 2 web 3 sort of uh, layer um, it can be pretty confusing for people. But anyway, I mean, I suppose the, the big thing here is Animoca has been giving away all these tower tokens for, for you know, ages. And people haven't really had, it, had anything to do with them, and now they do. So keep an eye on what's going on here. Obviously, the, the end point for Animoca is they're going to launch a, a proper Web 3, you know, game. The, the next game in the in this um, tower defense series, in the Crazy uh, crazy Defense Heroes series, will be a pure, sort of pure Web 3 game. Um, so they obviously sort of, these assets, hopefully, um, will have will be useful in that game and the tower token clearly is something they're going to use in, in future games as well so that's sort of the point of it even if this bit doesn't seem very Im impressive <laughs> um Animoca is sort of seeding seeding out their community with with these assets so uh, keep an eye on that thanks for watching the video